Differential Drive Pinion Removal and Installation Before removing your pinion, you have to take the flange off. You should mark the pinion to the flange. We're going to do that with a centering punch. We see our two marks right here. Now we have to keep the flange from spinning as we loosen the nut. There are several holders that we're going to use, or several ways that we can do this. First one is a specialty holder. This is a Toyota tool. The pin pulls out. It's designed to slide in through one of the mounting holes. Pin goes in. And now you can hold it from going this way or hold it from going this way. This holder is actually designed for the yoke style flange, however it can still be used for this type of flange. We simply need to use a couple of mounting bolts this way. Place a couple of nuts on the bottom side and this will hold the flange from spinning. I'm going to use the factory tool and we can now ratchet this off. Don't forget to take the washer out. Magnet works nice for this. If the flange doesn't pull right up, which a lot of them won't, never ever take a hammer and smack from below. You'll bend it and that'll create a problem. Instead you want to use a puller. This puller will work as well as this puller. Whenever you're using a puller you want to make sure to always put some grease white grease, bearing grease, some sort of a grease on the end of the tip so it doesn't dig into either part. The other thing to make sure is that the threads on the forcing screw have some kind of a lubricant on them so that you don't damage the tool. This tool needs the use of additional bolts. As you tighten up on the forcing screw, the flange will want to spin. If it's real tough to come off, it may be hard to hold this to keep it from spinning. If that's the case, use a large pair of channel locks. And you can a lot of times grab a hold of the whole the puller tool in this fashion in order to pull it off. If you're using a two jaw puller such as this one this is what the setup will look like. If it is spinning you can use channel locks to hold it from spinning or what actually works a little better is an adjustable wrench to hold it in place. In this case it's already pretty loose. And there's your flange. Before you pull your flange off, you should hang on to your pinion here because sometimes the pinion will drop. And if you're going to use your pinion again, you don't want to hit the ground damaging it.